In this exercise, we'll focus on using CSS basic and compound selectors. I've opened the finished file in the browser so that you can see exactly what type of selections we'll be making in this exercise. Starting with the button on the left, I can select a single HTML element, and in this case it's the P tag. This one is completed for us because we've done this before. I'll refresh the page so that I can show you the second button where we select by ID. And I'll refresh the page to show you the third button which demonstrates how we select by class. So the third item in this list has a class applied to it. I'll refresh and now we'll try a selector that selects all the objects in the document object model. Next we'll select any two elements and in this exercise those two elements will be li tags and p tags. And finally we'll select using the CSS child selector. In this case it's the anchor tag which is a child to the paragraph tag that it resides in. So let's take a look at our source code for this. You'll need to open the exercise 2, which is inside the chapter 5 using selectors directory. If you scroll down to your script block, you'll see that the first three selectors have been done for you. This is because we've done this before in previous exercises. We've selected an element by its tag name, in this case the p tag, and we've selected an element that was unique within the web page, and that was done by its ID, a div tag whose ID was list2. The third one was selecting an element by its class, and we selected an item on the list with a class of special item. We'll begin with the fourth item, and our goal will be to write a selector that selects all of the elements within the DOM. You can see that everything has been done for you with the exception of the selector itself, which has been replaced with this capitalized text add selector. So if you've written HTML and CSS for styling, you're probably familiar with this selector. It's simply the asterisk, which selects all elements on the page. So let's save this and test it in the browser by clicking on the button whose label is Select All Elements. If you click this, uh, the end result is that all the elements are selected and highlighted in yellow. We'll return to our source code and move on to the next function. Here we want to write a selector that selects any two elements on the page. You can select any two elements you want, but for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm going to show you the P and the LI tags. So we'll replace the Add Selector with those tags. And the quotes are already there, but if we say p tags and li tags, the result of this spacebar between the two elements is that we'll get li tags that are children of p tags. And that's not what we want are p tags and li tags. So we need to replace the spacebar with a comma. We can leave the spacebar. The important piece of syntax here is the comma. So let's test this in the browser. And you can test by clicking the button that says any two elements. And you should see that all paragraphs and all list items are selected and highlighted in yellow. Let's return to our source code and look at this last function that uses a selector that selects any element that has a parent. So we've chosen for this portion of the exercise uh, this anchor tag. And you can see that it does have a parent and its parent is a p tag. Let's head up to our jQuery and again we'll highlight the add selector text and replace it with the p tag followed by a spacebar and the a tag. Let's save this file and test it in the browser. We'll try that last button and you should see that the link is highlighted in yellow. In this video, we practiced some CSS selectors to select elements and then moved on a bit by choosing more compound selectors. These selectors selected elements based on their parent element or their class or one or more elements, such as in the case of the P and the LI tags. And we also learned how to select all of the elements in the document object model using the asterisk selector.